Hello everybody, Nightshade here. I came second place with this deck in locals. Uh, so I thought I'll bring this deck profile to you for DT6. Uh, so let's start with the Gitano, shall we? We are playing four Ukumon from DT1, who has the inheritable effect of when attacking, switch so in if your opponent has a Digimon with no distribution cards in play, trigger draw one. Really good to get some draw power in this deck, as you uh, see later, there are a lot of cards you want to search. We are then playing a one of of the Demi Freemon from the new Fijimon Shukrek. He has the Inheritable. Your turn, while you have 8 or more cards in your hand, this is my game from 5 GP. The Inheritable doesn't really come up, uh, but I just wanted to play a fifth egg instead. Moving on to the rookies, we're playing one Gobblemon. From the blue structure deck, the original blue structure deck, who has the inheritable effect of one attacking, trust the distribution card at the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon, who are level 5 or lower. Um, can come in handy, not really. I just play it for the name. Next, we're playing one Goblin from the one promo Goblin. Whereas the on play, reveal the top 5 cards on your, of your deck as one tamer card among them, two hand, place the remaining cards. At the bottom of your deck in any order. Really good to get your maths or your Davises. We are then playing four of the BT1 Goblin who has the unplay trigger draw one from the deck. Just nice draw power with the Goblin One's name. Next we are playing four Strabi One who has who has uh, on play, we feel the top three cards of your deck. I want Digimon with hybrid in its form. I will one blue uh, team card among them and then place them to remaining to your hand and then put the remaining on the bottom of the deck. Really good to search out your tamers or your local ones. Again. Uh, next, we play four of the Godmon from the Fijimon Shooter deck. He has the inheritable of all turns while you have eight or more cards in your hand. This is one game from 5 GP. Can come in handy every so often when you want to swing over your opponent's gob uh, Goblin One Bond of Friendship. So it's not the worst level, and of course, there's another name. The main star of the show, though, is the Goblin One from DT6, who has all turns once per turn when you play a tamer with Matashida in the same King One memory, and when attacking once per turn if the Turtle Dragon is. Uh, Goblin Bond of Friendship, you may unsuspend this Digimon. So we've gone with this and the uh, Goblin Bond of Friendship. You may basically attack three times in one turn. Moving on to the level fours. We play four level one, who has you may digifoe this card onto a tamer as if the tamer was level three, but its digivolution costs are two. So you can say to the strawberry mon and obviously we're playing a lot of uh, tamers in this deck which this can be a game ender next we are playing four cordimon from the fijimon shukse he has security at the end of the battle play this card without paying the tamer cost and on play trigger draw two really good consistency card especially just hard playing it can be really nice. If your opponent gives you three and they have a memory team, you can just hard play this and draw a couple of nice cards. And obviously, if you get security, it's a big bonus. Then we're playing four Grizzlymon from the blue Shukshrek. Uh, I like playing the Grizzlymon over Cordumon because of Jessmon can just kill 5 5 and DP blockers. So I prefer playing the Grizzlymon as my blocker for the deck. Then moving on to the last Digimon we play, we're playing four of the main guy himself, Goblin Bond of Friendship, who has one attacking once per turn. If you have a team in play, you may unsuspend this tamer, and he has one attacking the tamer of your opponent's level five or lower Digimon to the bottom of a zone's deck and trash all Digivolution sources. So with the Goblin One I explained earlier, you can basically attack three times with this and basically shuffle away three of your opponent's Digimon. Next, moving on to option cards, we're playing four Hammer Spark, which has main, gain one memory, and then security, uh, gain two memory. Really nice, just because uh, obviously gaining memory is always nice, and obviously you need free memory to go into your Digimon Gobble Bond of Friendship. 
Next, we're playing one Howling Memory Boost, which has main trash up to two distribution cards from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimons and one of your opponent's Digimon with no distribution cards. Go and attack or block to the end of your opponent's next turn, then place this card in your battle area. And it has main decor, trash this card in your battle area, activate the effect, gain two memory, and it has security, place this card in its own battlefield. I really like this as a one off, as sometimes. Uh, pesky level 6 blockers can get in the way and you can't shuffle them back with the couple one bond of friendship so I do like it as a one off. Next we are playing four blue sorry three blue memory boosts which has main refill the top four cards of your deck, add one blue Digimon card among them to your hand and place the remaining at the bottom. And just like the Howling Memory Boost that has decoy, put it onto the battlefield and then you can use it to gain to memory and same security effect places on the battlefield. Uh, really good just to get your goblin ones that you want to consistently see, especially the friendships. Next, we are playing two uh, Rattle Star, which has main, return one of your opponent's 05 or lower Digimon to its own hand. If your opponent has three or more Digimon in play, return one of your opponent's Digimon to the bottom of its own deck and set trash all distribution cards for Digimon. This did come up and has the security effect of activating these main cards. This did come up every so often. I'm not sure if I'd run Kakai better over it because I do like the play cost of 5 instead of 7. But you could change this for Kakai's breath or anything really. Moving on to teams, we are playing Bolt Matt from BT6, the main star of the deck, which has your turn when one of your Digimon will gobble one or Glutamon in its name moves from the breeding area to the battle area, gain one memory and trigger draw one. And then has main once per turn, digital your Goblin into Goblin Bond of Friendship from your hand uh, for its distribution cost, knowing the level. If you do trust the top two cards of your security stack, then if you have one or more security cards, delete that Digimon at the end of the turn and security play this card right in the So if you have a Goblin in raising, and you have this out, you can promote even if your opponent and have a hammock block, even if your opponent gives you one, you can play this card, which is really nice. And the last tamer we play is just two Davises, which has the start of the turn. If you have two memory or less, set your memory to three and on play we feel the top three cards of your deck. Add one blue and one green Digimon card among them to your hand, plus the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. In security, play this card without paying his memory cost. I only personally like running two. I have been thinking of playing a memory team of Matt for the Goblin effect that basically make, makes the uh, Goblin one the Matt uh, three cost instead of a four cost. You can play three Davis if you like. I have found playing three is too clunky. I draw too many, or I don't. So I just like playing two. But you could change this to a three if you like. That is my double one bond of friendship deck profile. Thank you for everybody for watching. And as you probably noticed, we have my 150 grams <laughs> robot, Mr. Double Claws, and our and a lovely plushie of Padman. Thank you for watching, and I hope everybody enjoyed the video. And goodbye.